Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Alright, so... Alright, so now we got to get to Udina's office, and, uh, oh, hello, Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Alright, sounds good. Uh, tell me about some local features. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. What's that say in the stream there? Uh, we're leaving at 6 in the morning to go to uh, uh, Dauphin Island, Alabama. Oh, okay, so this will be a good way to start off. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice, hope, hope you enjoy that. Hello, dear. Uh, okay, is there anybody to talk to over here? Oh, I thought the... Oh, she must not come to later. I thought the journalist was going to be there, but uh, I guess not. Oh. Oh, dear. I know it's not showing up on stream, but my TV is like... It kept, it kept her going black for a second. Hmm. Oh, that was a fluke. I hope that's not something I have to keep dealing with. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Oh, there we go. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Yeah, that's, uh... That's tough to deal with. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Oh, fucking tell me about it. Especially with it's fucking journalists sp is spreading fake ass news. <laughs> uh, it's a stupid game. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Yeah, dealing with politics would be pretty fucking hard, especially... Well, especially... Well, I mean, <laughs> actually, actually, the fact that she's... The fact that she's there maybe means she's willing to do some actual journalism. Fuck's sakes, journal uh, mainstream journalists nowadays, they don't even they don't even get up out of their chair, they just check other people's tweets. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> get off your ass and do some journalism. <laughs> Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. 
and it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True. Oh, in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Um... Do, we have, do you have a better plan? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Hey, the Council this... cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, well, keep shit. me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Yeah, hopefully that'll all work out. What's that? Uh, Wi-Fi was slow, so I closed the app, turned it on. Uh, so it's connected. Should work better now. Oh, okay. Okay, good. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. <laughs> we may have a spot in the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Pedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man. Open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... So, favors for favors? You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. Yeah, that was one of the things that... There is oh. one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. That, that was uh, something that I, I thought they did really well in the game, was just the thought of, you know, while you're doing all these, you know, chores through the galaxy, there's always the thought in the back of your mind that, that Earth is just being ruined. And, and it's, it's this, this feeling of tension that, you know, 
it's something something different that from the original from the other two Mass Effect games. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, all right. Let's talk to Counselor Udina. The Counselor. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Yeah, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Man. Can't imagine if the draft was brought back. Oh, God. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how Whoa. little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Get some results. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. So, how is Earth, anyway? Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos. Oh. Of everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Actually, um, what was it? Uh, I forget the name of that movie. I think it was uh, Oblivion, that one with Tom Cruise. They, that alien invasion that they mentioned actually probably had the best tactical approach to attacking Earth, which... Uh, was destroying the moon. Um, just the destruction of the moon and, and all the earthquakes and floods that had happened, like just that alone would be devastating. Um, glad the Reapers didn't think of that. <laughs> What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. Um, oh, just before I continue, was it the video cuts out than the audio, so I'm pretty sure it's on my side. I met my friends, uh, so I might have to I miss the stream, sorry. Oh, okay. No no problem, man. If uh if you're you know, if you're having issues with your connection, that's you know, that's all good. Um but uh if even if you're here for a bit, I, I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh uh Council Leverage did I already ask that one? What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat. Oh, yeah, I, I she, already did that one. Frankly, it's good. Uh, personal situation. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. (sighs) Ah, jeez. I should go. I'll be here. That's some rough shit. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.